Hey, it's Rob Brown with Rob's Vlog, and this week we're talking pontoons and really the differences in types of pontoons and how they'll match your needs. The first one we'll start with is just a standard pontoon. It's a 25 inch diameter. In Avalon's case, it has a nice plug at the bottom of it for drain we can talk about later. Full risers are something we'll also discuss. It's the connection point that runs all the way from the front of the from the bow of the pontoon to the stern and it connects at every single cross member, one solid piece inside and out. Really key, especially if you're buying a performance-minded pontoon. This pontoon you'll find is, is the right choice if you're really leaning more towards just the afternoon or evening cruises. Uh, you're going to have eight or ten people on board. You want to pull the grandkids or the kids, light kids, on a tube. Maybe power it with a 60 or a 90. It's a displacement type hull, so it pushes its way through the water. Uh, good all-around pontoon for what you want to do. If you want to step up to do more water sp sports and lean towards water sports, the next tube we'll show you will put you where you want to be on that. This is the second in series pontoons at Avalon uh, and a lot of companies build, don't just stick to that. But then again, I've, I've marked out a few things on this pontoon that I think are really important. First of all, of course, the 25 inch diameter, much like the first pontoon. Here we're showing, and we didn't show on the first one, but this does have side protector keels, helps to make that pontoon a little bit more rigid. Here you can see the full riser a little bit better really helps to stiffen that deck and that carriage. Really important on a performance-minded pontoon. You don't want any waterbed action, so to speak, in your deck. Here you can see the transducer mount. Also has, uh, is made for a pump. Uh, the lifting eye up top. But the real key is this lifting fin right here. You have two inner and out. Same thing on the other two. This gives this the boat a little more lift. Uh, our most popular boat uh, on the lakes regions here, a 21 foot boat, lifting fins, 115 horsepower engine, man it's a go to it. Pull the kids on tubes, skis, pull you on tubes and skis. Uh, really enjoy this boat. This is the first step in creating some performance in a pontoon boat. This is the third pontoon that we, uh, and, and this one really is our most performance-minded pontoon uh, for the all-around boat, and it's called an express tube package. It has the 25-inch tube, which we've talked about, side keels, full risers, you understand the importance of those. This one shows an underwater light along with this uh, bracket today. You have the lifting fins, which really gives that a rise to where you have really a more of a planing hull as opposed to a displacement. The real key with this particular package, the Express 2 package, is, Jake, if you look up underneath, this one has a third three-quarter tube. It gives you that first boost right out of the water. Helps to give you a lot of flotation up on the bow, especially if you have a lot of people in the bow. Uh, has lifting fins on it. Uh, allows you to turn the boat into a real performance-minded boat. Nice turning package, able to zig and zag. Then again, we can power this boat up. I think this one's a 25, but even on the 23s with this package, we can put a 150 on it. You're looking at a boat uh, easily in excess of 35, 38 miles an hour. You want to go, go fast boat, a go fast pontoon, the Express 2 package is a good way to go. Yep. This is the fourth in the series that we're talking about today. This is the center tube package, and this, as you can see, is the 25-inch diameter with all of the other items we talked about, the full risers, the lifting eye, the bracket, the lift fins. This one here, though, has a full center tube, so they call that the center tube system, as you would expect. The express tube that's behind me and the center tube system have what they call a wave shield, which is a piece of aluminum that goes the entire length of the boat. When water comes up against the, the base of the boat underneath, when it hits the cross, it would normally hit a cross member and almost work like a brake. Where here, 
with the wave shield, the water hits it and actually helps to lift the boat. With the center tube system, you can power this boat, depending on uh, design, length, 300, 350, even 400 in certain cases. Uh, this particular boat is going to get set up with a 200. Uh, I would expect that boat is going to be easily in excess of 42, 45 miles an hour. Uh, then again, very agile on the water. Do any of the water sports you want to do. Hey, it's Rob Brown with Rob's Vlog, uh, talking pontoons today. I hope the information we have here is helpful, and I hope it helps you during the shopping season while we're at the boat shows here in Maine.